hello guys welcome to pavitra laptop care so now we are reaching to destination part are you wondering why it's a destination yes really this is the destination part that is processor to pch communication so if you really missed out the source to till destination part videos don't worry about that so directly you can go to youtube and search pavitra laptop care this is my youtube channel so there see more than 112 13 videos are there so in that if you click on videos many videos you will get those all are related to this higher end chip level course is mentioned so many more videos you are able to see here see everything has described here okay see how a voltage will pass through a motherboard hmm? and uh, what is the use of current voltage and many more see the dso usage and uh, how to read the schematic and how bias will work bias types of bias and circuits types of circuits many more are there all are knowledgeable videos guys really if you are missed out so please subscribe my channel and you can have a look out these videos okay okay let us discuss about destination part now see this is the processor after communication with the memory unit so finally the communication with the chipset will happen this is the final stage that's through fdi and dmi bus see these are buses this is memory bus this is fdi this is dmi huh? and this all are sata lds hdmi see many are there all are buses we will call the processor the processor what it does so it will do the processing work processing job which assigned from the pch how pch will assign to processor hmm? that in depth we can learn in next stages but now what are the communication between this pch and processor that we can see here see the dmi and and fdi what are these buses what are the use of these buses now i'll come to the fdi path okay then dmi both i will explain you only decide which one is the first and which one is the last okay i can't tell anything you have to decide fdi flexible display interconnection flexible display interconnection in the name itself it is there so display interconnectivity okay interconnectivity with the display unit see the data will works through 100 megahertz Hmm, it has 2.7 gt per seconds that much of speed it has the fdi flexible display interconnection interconnectors it connects the display engine which is in the processor from pch okay once again i'll repeat display interconnect this bus will connect the what image what is the display uh, engine which is there in the processor the display engine which is there in the processor that connection will happen through this fdi buses from pch to processor okay understand i'm slowly i'm telling because you have to know much that's why see how it will happen once the actually display engine will be there in processor that i already explained through that it has to uh, recover the those data so which are processed already those display images uh, that are buffers what we call it's a buffers those will collect pch from this uh, processor unit through this fdi bus see the connection itself it shows it will connect the panels the display panels which has processed from the processor engine the graphics engine i told you that it's a graphics engine is built in with the processor 
see one is intel built in processor i mean uh, that uh, graphics engine and the associated that amd series is also connected with the processor once the graphics uh, engine work has done then through this fdi the pch will access the display data display related data and it connects to the panel see that's lvds panel or hdmi to external monitor this is internal or external now you got my point right so these all are panels these panels are connect uh, connected with the processor through this fdi bus till now many people don't know about this i think so but anyway through this you can understand easily okay here job has done the display related see amd or intel what are the display are there the engine will be there inside the processor or maybe external but both will combine and through this fdi bus so it will connect to the display panel this is the final output of this journey this is the final output okay keep it in your mind that lvds or edp these all are the final output which is connected through this fdi to processor okay that's it i will come to the dmi section what dmi section does see we got the display here through this lvds or hdmi port external port okay but some process should happen right process means the operating system part that will carried out through this process direct memory sorry direct media interface that's called operating system <laughs> that is windows or linux whatever it may be those operating system softwares move through this dmi bus see for example that fdi connected with this pch through this lvds see these are display related thing and here it's a pci has connected but the thing is mainly it has connected this side left side has connected with display units and right side has connected sata hdd odd usb things these all are storage devices which provides the data that software data to the processor through this pch that's called it's a dmi direct media interfaces medias what are the medias hard disk odd usb hmm? and audio also a media because it processes the sound mic hmm? audio now you got my point right so direct media interface will pass the software fdi hmm? will pass the display related things from display engine to panel lvds panel that's it guys if you have any doubts you can contact us through telegram or whatsapp or email okay even uh, facebook also so that's it anything else please contact to pavitra laptop care and if anybody wants to join our online course and our offline course please contact us uh, regarding the course fees and course details what we are covering those chapters i will send a message to you people thank you thank you very much